Yep, that's me. So, what time is it? I showered last night and my hair is still wet. Love that for me. 12.08 p.m. Okay, here's the thing. I went to bed really late last night, and so I slept in. But I set an alarm for 12 because I have therapy at 2. So, um, and I have stuff I want to get done today. I, like, made a whole, like, to-do list of stuff that I want to get done today. So, I figured, well, maybe if I film it, I'll actually do it. So, Hello, so today's video is actually sponsored by Pinch Me. I've worked with them before, you guys might recognize them. I keep, oh, I dropped everything. Basically, Pinch Me lets you try products from leading companies for literally free. A lot of people ask for debit card information, but they don't even ask you, they just ask that you leave a review on their website in return. Every month, a range of new free products is released on their website, and if you're a member, you can claim the products. They call it Sample Tuesday, which is usually on the second Tuesday of every month. Like, leading brand name products from like cleaning supplies, makeup, up, pets, food, literally anything you can think of, they've got you covered. I just dropped more. Now everyone is guaranteed a sample box, but they will send you like free goodies to take advantage of if you so choose. So I just wanted to go through my box really quick to show you guys what I got. Yeah, and I've already opened it because I've been using some of the stuff. So French chocolate. Let's just, so I'm just going to eat it. Mm-hmm. Are these love bug probiotics um it's a little 10 day challenge for digestive health eye drops um, it helps reduce redness and it works really fast i haven't tried them yet i'm really excited about these i haven't used them yet but they're the dennis gross doc dr dennis gross alpha beta extra strength daily peel i just dropped it drive shampoo from the brand eva nyc how do you activated charcoal soap it's moisturizing bath bar VB, I can't say it, okay? That's definitely... Facial oil, cruelty-free, and it's like a night oil, and I've actually used it a few times, and it feels so good. So yeah, that's what was in my pinch me box. If you guys want to check it out for yourselves, make sure you click the link down in the description. It's going to be right at the top, and yeah, let me know what you think, and let's carry on with the video. Let's get this party started. Let me read you my little to-do list of things I want to get done. I'm not going to get all of it done today. I'm telling you that right now. It's just not going to happen. I wrote down like a to-do list. Hang up clothes. Do laundry. I need to clean my room. Very bad. Wash my sheets. I need to film a sponsored video tonight. I need to set up another sponsored post. I need to wash my makeup brushes. Listen, my skin's breaking out so bad and I don't know what it is. I thought it was because of some vitamins, but it wasn't. I'm st still freaking breaking out. So, my voice keeps cracking. I'm like, maybe it's my makeup brushes. I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes because I never wash them. I need to finish letters. I'm writing letters to you guys for as thank you for streaming grieving and it hitting 700,000. So I really wanna finish those today for like the letters that I have because I have to buy more but I want to finish the ones that I have um, and then I need to call some therapy places. It's 12, 12. I need to leave here. I'm leaving here like 1 30. Okay yeah I need to get my shit together. Let's go to the kitchen. For breakfast I usually either eat cereal. I fucking love cereal. Also fucking love Cheerios or I'll eat a bagel with cream cheese and some yogurt. I make a bagel, an egg, this is eggs, and put that, or I'll make avocado toast. I'll make some eggs and put it on the bagel. Okay, usually I make two eggs and I'll put it on an everything bagel because everything bagels changed my life. But we're out of bagels, which is sad. So I'm just gonna put it on some bread. And luckily, I have some everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder. I know I said that in every video, but I'm still not used to having a camera where I can like check things, so. At some point during my morning, this one likes to come annoy me. Yes. This is midnight. I love you. Now we use, 
Mommy, assemble. But I didn't even step on you. Oh, you, no, get down. Down. This is what I have to live with. Bone up the teeth. I'm gonna eat this. Oh, we have orange juice. Listen, orange juice slaps. So then I sit back in bed and eat in the comfort of my bed. And I will usually check my email. And if I have emails I need to respond to, I'll respond to those. Yeah, not gonna lie, most of these days I, my anxiety has been like really, really bad. And so I just kind of like sit in bed and do nothing because my anxiety is just so, so bad that I feel like I can't get anything done. I'm gonna try to get things done today. Really? For those that don't know, my house is haunted. Her name is Michelle, at least we deemed her Michelle. We don't really know if her name's Michelle. And uh, she just likes to make... Did you hear that? Wait, okay, there was like a noise and then Midnight ran after it. Now she's wilding. Was that Michelle? I would talk about Michelle and she would wild out. Am I reading my own tweets? Yeah, I'm bored. What about it? Welcome to my OOTD. Therapy attire. What the hell t-shirt. My only leggings that don't have a hole. And then we've got a Christmas sock and a Halloween sock because I can't find the matching pairs, so. Wait, is today National Boyfriend Day? I don't know. Allegedly. Happy National Boyfriend Day, Teresa. Going to put on our Doc Martens. Just happy National Boyfriend Day, baby. I just wished you happy National Boyfriend Day. It's fine. I would choose Nat too. I'm gonna put Chandler's Instagram on the screen. Everybody follow Chandler and also just follow Nat while you're at it. I need to take my medicine. That's what I need to do. It's 1 p.m. So at 1 p.m. every day, I take my medicine. I know this is really riveting content. You don't need to tell me. Okay vlog, I'm leaving you here because I need to go to therapy and I don't feel like bringing my camera. So I'll see you when I get back. Also, Trump posted like a ridiculous video because he's scared of getting impeached with a Nickelback song. And <laughs> he got copyright striked. <laughs> Today's a good day. Okay, goodbye. Hello, um, I'm back from therapy. It's 3.37. Um, I got done at like 3. I didn't bring you guys just because I didn't want to bring my camera. But I got home, I had some yogurt. I'm gonna put on some makeup because it makes me feel more alive and start to get stuff done. Also, I think I put too much oil in my hair last night because this section of my hair looks like greasy. That's fun. Step one's always chapstick. I guess I could tell you how therapy went. Right now I'm seeing a cognitive behavioral therapist she's great but like my anxiety is just like really really bad so she's recommending that i see somebody that does emdr which is like a type of therapy used to like help treat um and like deal with ptsd so we've been like talking about that um i keep forgetting to call because i'm the worst and i'm also just nervous because like starting new therapy is like nerve-wracking you know but yeah, we talked about that, and then she kind of gave me like a little assessment for like another form of therapy, which is called CPT. So basically, we're trying to figure out like the right treatment for me, because the treatment I have right now isn't intense enough, which sucks because I love my therapist, but obviously like I need to do something more intense to help my anxiety, so just put on concealer. It doesn't- I don't cover everything like perfectly, I just like- Make it less noticeable, and then I'm gonna say get a little bit of bronzer. I'm just gonna do blush today, though. Milani baked blush in Luminoso. I would die without it. I'm just gonna use this as a mirror because this mirror is dirty. Makeup never stays where my acne is, and I just don't understand. We just go put on the highlight. And then I do this thing, I and then I just do this where we're at um 
my mascara is messed up, but I'll fix it. And then I do a lip, I'll usually just do chapstick or I'll put on like a lip, like a lipstick. I pop lippy stick in the color Brink. I've been like complaining about how my hair is short and I want it to be long again. I get like stressed out and overwhelmed and I feel like I'm having a mid -life crisis and I just want to cut it all off again. So that's where I'm at. Because lately I've been wanting like not full bangs, but like I think they're called curtain bangs. At least that's what they're called according to Pinterest. Something like this. Like long layers. Oh, it's 4.15. I haven't done anything that I said I was gonna do. Well, I ordered an agenda. I ordered a planner. Oh, I need to email some people. Should I find myself emailing people? Is that riveting content for you? Also, I'm the worst at like being professional when it comes to writing emails. I don't know if anybody else is the same, but I just, I don't know how to write a professional email. Oh my god, I was approved to be a Seat Geek ambassador. Teresa! I was approved to be a Seat Geek ambassador, so now I have a $20 off code. <laughs> All right, everybody, um, use the code LizB for $20 off your first ticket purchase, and I'll surprise you with a brand new fucking Tesla. So SeatGeek helps you buy tickets to things in the easiest way possible. You've seen David Dobrik surprise his friends with Teslas and stuff. And today, I'm going to help you get money off of concert tickets. So if you have a concert is coming up that you really want to go to, and... It's expensive and you like you know you want twenty dollars off, use the code LizB for twenty dollars off your first purchase. I've always wanted to say that. I'm about to answer emails. I know I said I was gonna do that a few minutes ago, but I didn't, so Oh, I should have proofread that before I hit send. I don't wanna clean my room yet. See, the thing is you guys, like, I don't get productive until at least midnight. I kind of want to go sit on the hammock because it's somewhat nice out and, like, decompress because I'm pretty anxious and usually that helps me relax. I'm outside for a little bit. It's 6.19. I am... I'm gonna make dinner. I need to order more thank you cards. Pasta's boiling. I'm making pesto pasta with chicken for dinner. Also, today is a good day to film a day in my life because Taylor Swift is on Jimmy Fallon tonight. So, I just might as well film that while we're at it. And then I also went through and updated my Google Sheets thing with people I need to send letters to. So, here's the thing. I made dinner, didn't film it. Um, and then I ate it and didn't show you because I was very hungry. Yeah, and that was like, like an hour and a half ago. And I haven't updated you because I I'm the worst. And it's now 8 p.m. I haven't done anything I said I was going to do. But apparently it's National Boyfriend Day. And I don't have a boyfriend. I'm like, I'm my own boyfriend, you know? So I kind of want to treat myself. And by treat myself, I mean I want to go buy Taylor's Rolling Stone cover. This is a very realistic day in my life. Also, this is the worst day in my life video that you're probably ever gonna watch, so. What do you even need from Rite Aid? Um, makeup wipes, and it's National Boyfriend Day, so I wanna buy Taylor's Rolling Stone cover. If I go with you, can I use your liquid eyeliner tomorrow? Sure. Okay, see you in a sec. Will you drive? <laughs> Love that. Um, we're at Rite Aid. I made Teresa drive me. Okay, we're gonna go in and if they don't have Taylor's Rolling Stone magazine, I'm gonna fucking scream, okay? Um, we'll be back. She has her retainer in for the first time in how long? Well, I wore it for like three days straight last month and then I forgot again, but before that, I don't know, like two years. <laughs> they didn't fucking have it. That's how I feel. You tell <laughs> um, When I look down, do I look like Tim McGraw? <laughs> Have you ever seen that man's face for more than a couple seconds? <laughs> Let me just show you guys what Teresa fucking posted on Tumblr. Oh fuck. So, the reason we're here today to 
talk to you is because you know what month it is? Uh, it's voting month. I'm month. supposed to say October. October. I'm going to say, you know what's in October? Voter registration period. When is and it? Right now. No, when's the deadline? October 7th. October 7th. So you should go register to vote if you haven't already. If you just turned 18, um, a super cool, quirky, fun thing you can do as an adult is register to vote. It's cooler than buying a lottery ticket or NyQuil or Whiteout. Because those are also things you have to be 18 to buy. We just wanted to tell you to register to vote because it's really, 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 really important. And I know that a lot of you are younger, so you want to be a cool kid, register to vote. You know what will happen if you don't register to vote? I'm going to show up to your house. We, other way. I'm going to show up to your house. And you know that box mac and cheese you've been waiting to make? I'm going to make it and I'm going to eat it all. What the fuck? If you're one of those people that are like, oh, my vote doesn't count. Shut the fuck up. We, yes, it fucking does. We all saw the 2016 election, okay? Your vote fucking counts. I'm gonna link vote.org down below. It's super easy to sign up. And then I'm also gonna link um, rockthevote.org because they have a whole thing where you can go by state to see your state's deadlines and policies. And you can also sign up for like alerts and updates and all that for voting. If Nickelback can copyright Donald Trump, you can register to vote. And then also, if you can, see if your state allows you to be on the permanent early voters list. We both look like that. I mean, I'm the guy that's like, I had to do it too. <laughs> you know, I had to take the mac and cheese. They had to vote. It had to be done. Listen, I'm still fucking mad they didn't have Taylor's Rolling Stone cover. I just wanted to treat myself for National Boyfriend Day, and they didn't have it. Somebody please date me and drop a comment. <laughs> Welcome to my Rite Aid haul. Gum. And makeup wipes. That's it. I'm gonna clean my room, which I really don't want to do at all. But I haven't done anything I said I was gonna do all day. Well, I did like two things, but... What was I doing? I keep zoning out. I keep doing that. Let me show you the room situation. Let me just show you what we're working with, because it's a mess. It's a hot mess. I'm embarrassed, okay? Don't judge me. We're cleaning it. We're gonna do it. It's fine. That's my dinner. This... I've just been living out of my hamper instead of hanging everything up and putting it away and just living like a normal human. So I just really need to go through everything and like clean it. And like sort things, you know? I'm gonna play some music. Um, I was gonna film a time lapse, but if you guys don't want to see that, I'll just come back when I make progress, okay? Okay, hear me out. So, I was cleaning my room, right? And then two friends, Peter and Ethan, came over because Peter's moving to Baltimore tomorrow and we wanted to say goodbye. So, I stopped cleaning and I hung out with them. But I did get my comforter and sheets in the washer and then I just switched them over to the dryer. So like, it's progress, right? I said I was gonna clean my room and then I stopped because I'm the worst. It's 11.32 and Taylor is gonna be on Jimmy Fallon in a few minutes. So I'm gonna watch her on Jimmy Fallon and then I'll clean my room. It's 1.41 in the morning, and I still haven't done anything I said I was going to do. I've just been sitting on my laptop <laughs> watching YouTube videos. It's 2.54 in the morning. I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get my sheets, so I'm just going to sleep on my mattress. <laughs> like it's a pretty accurate depiction of like a day in my life. Um, I'm whispering because everybody's asleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Pinch Me and click the link down below. And yeah, I'm sorry this was the worst day in my life vlog that you will ever watch. I love you guys with my whole heart and I will see you in my next video. Bye.